ますか Now, instead of using cream face paint, I opted for these NYX Total Control Drops. I use these drops in my normal foundation to whiten it up because I'm pretty pale, um, but on their own, they were pretty great for helping me achieve an overall pale skinned, joker, acid burned kind of look. I'm using one of those crazy little foundation brushes. This one is by Real Techniques. I also think this would work really well with a beauty blender, but as I don't use those in real life, I didn't have one on hand. And um, with this, of course, you want to make sure you get way up into the hairline, um, unless you're wearing a wig and you want to make sure you're basically just covering any spots of redness. Get your ears, get your neck, get all of the places where your skin will be showing. Um, I'm not going too far down because I'm wearing a collared shirt for this outfit, um, but I am going down a little bit on the chest because I tend to get really red in that area. Once I've kind of got a thin layer on, I'm going to start to color correct. I just want a really thin base of the white, um, but because my color correctors are a little bit more of a natural skin tone, I want to go ahead and put those on before I complete blanking out the slate. This is a NYX Dark Circle Corrector. I'm using it in my eyebrows um, just to kind of color correct over the darkness of my brows. and it is a little bit tacky so it's going to give everything else just a little bit of something to stick to. Um, you can blank out your eyebrows completely if you want to with a glue stick and some powder. I chose not to do that. Now I'm just going to conceal with my usual Tarte Shape Tape concealer and I'm going to run a little bit of this through my brows and across my cheeks and anywhere where I have any of that rosy skin tone showing because so that's the part I really want to erase here. Now I'm going back into my drops so that I can create another layer of this white foundation over my face. And that's going to really neutralize any of the skin tone that my concealer might have had in it. I mean, clearly I'm very fair, but still this is quite a bit lighter. And also if you're using a foundation brush like I am, I find that using a stippling motion rather than using a traditional sweeping motion will keep all of those little hairs from sticking up since you're using a really fair foundation and will just kind of keep the texture looking a little bit more natural. Finally with the skin, I'm going to set everything with Revolution's Baking Powder in Ghost. This is a really important part of the process. It helps set everything in across those eyelids, your eyebrows, your nose, all of the places where this will have a tendency to move as you're continuing on in all of the shading and etc. For my eyes, I'm using the Viseart Petite Pro Palette. I'm going to use the cream shade all over the lid and then that kind of burnt plum color in my crease. And I'm going to really blend that in toward my nose and that's going to help us get that expression we're looking for. Now the Urban Decay Vice Palette has a great green that is perfect for Joker eyebrows. There are a couple of versions of Joker that don't have the green brows, but I thought it was more fun, so that's what I'm going with. Um, and you can see how, because I blocked out the eyebrow just a little bit, you can really see the color and I get to shape it how I'd like. So I'm using the upper edge of my brow so I get a little bit more of a lifted look and then I'm just kind of scowling. There's a lot of scowling in this video. I hope you're prepared for my crazy facial expressions. Um, but that just kind of helps get that more angry brow, which is what I'm going for. I also just used a gray shadow to kind of underline my eyebrow and add a few hair strokes in there where I'm drawing on straight up skin and it needs a little bit more hair-like dimension. And clearly you have to test your expression to see if you'll even be able to do this. Now I'm taking some of the more purple plummy colors in that Vice palette and I am using those to start to create kind of the scowl lines that I want on my face. So I'm basically scrunching my face up as much as I can and then I'm just going to go over those with a fine little brush and that's going to create some of those expression lines that I need in order to be able to create the right face. So the forehead, I'm just tracing those across very lightly. You can just kind of pencil this out and then go back and deepen anything that you want to. Now I happen to be blessed with a very long skinny kind of pointed nose. So what I'm gonna do is just take some of that same kind of grayish purple shade and accentuate this shape of my nose. And so I'm going down the side of my nose and then kind of angling it back up along my nostril to really accentuate that point. 
And you also want to go into your smile lines and put that same shadow. It's going to look kind of intense at first, but once you kind of blend it in and see the finished look, um, it actually looks way more natural than this looks right now. But I promise it will work out. Just keep blending it in. And then doing the same thing on my cheeks, I'm going to find the natural contour of my cheek by smiling it really deeply and then blending that shadow into that. It looks a little strange at first, but the more you blend it in and blend it out, the better it will eventually look. So I just keep using my little concealer brush there to kind of tap over the top of that and that'll just make it look natural and not like I just put dirt on my face. To make my chin look even more pointy than it is, I'm using a little bit of that contour powder just on the edges of my chin and then blending that in. And that'll just really accentuate the point of my chin and make that look very maniacal. To highlight that even further, I'm taking a few of those drops and just highlighting my chin and my nose. Using that same contour powder, I'm making shadows under my eyes and I'm kind of making this a little bit more blown out. So make sure you blend that out really well. You could also make this look super duper messy if you wanted to. It just depends on the version of Joker that you're going to. And then just to keep my pale eyelashes from glowing, I'm putting a little bit of eyeliner and smudging that in along with just a simple coat of mascara on top and bottom. To make my face look even longer and narrower, I'm shading a little bit of blush on the sides of my temples and that just kind of pulls everything to the center of my face. And now for the best part, I'm just using a red lip pencil to start to shape the lip how I want it. I'm looking off to the side because I've got a reference picture on the television. Um, I kind of decided to go for more of the Jack Nicholson version of the Joker lips because he's got a cupid bow like I do. So rather than try and draw that straight across like a lot of the other Joker characters do, I kind of copied his look. It just fit my lip shape better. I say choose what you like. To fill that all in, I'm using this lip paint from Flesh. I wanted to use a matte red that would be a little bit easier to use than a lipstick um, because what I'm going to do once I kind of get this main shape filled in is I'm going to take a very narrow paintbrush, kind of like an angled liner brush, and that's what I'm going to use to create that kind of pulled out um, side wing almost that you see. And that gives the very clown-like appearance that the Joker has. And this is a little bit tricky, but just find those smile lines, find the middle point of those, and it'll make this really, really easy. So it's kind of like creating a winged liner, but on the side of your mouth. I pulled it down a little bit further just to exaggerate my lip line on the lower line, and then I creepily put some white eyeliner in my eyes just to make them look crazier. And here is the final look. Don't you love my purple suit? I do too. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching this little tutorial. It's not super hard. It's a lot of fun to play with, and I hope you'll try it out.